Home in the finals against the Bud King, Kenny Bernstein. Here's Pro Stock Eliminator. In the near lane, it is Bruce Allen driving the rare and Morrison Camaro out of Arlington, Texas against Ken Dondero driving for his car owner, Bob Panella. The Pontiac Firebird of Don Darrow has got his work cut out for him as racing against the rare and Morrison Camaro, the leading proponents of Chevrolet, with Bruce Allen at the wheel. Allen took over the driving chores for the late Lee Shepard earlier this season after Shepard was fatally injured in a testing accident. The semifinals of Pro Stock find the Firebird in the far lane. The Camaro in the near lane, both cars very evenly matched. 500 cubic inches, two four-barrel carburetors, racing gasoline for fuel, 2,350 pounds weight, including the driver. And these are the ultimate in the factory type of race car. And a tremendous start for Bruce Allen as he pulls away from Ken Don Darrow. And at the finish line, Bruce Allen at a 7.65 second elapsed time, his speed over 181 miles an hour. He was seven hundredths of a second quicker off the starting line than Don Darrow. A tremendous hole shot for Bruce Allen. The final pair in this semifinal round find the Camaro of Joe Lapone working with his crew chief, Bill Grumpy Jenkins. A former champion himself out of Newton Square, Pennsylvania, comes Lapone to race the winningest driver ever in NHRA history from Whiteland, Indiana. Bob Glidden in the Chief Auto Parts 711 Ford Thunderbird. Glidden has won more NHRA national events than any other driver in competition, regardless of class. And he has done the bulk of his winning in pro stock, one of the most difficult fields of competition in any form of motorsport. It's the Ford Thunderbird in the far lane, the Chevrolet Camaro in the near lane, and the crowd just loves these factory battles between these hot rods. Joe Lapone. Bob Glidden matching up, earned the right to go into the finals and taking their time before the starting light comes on. Glidden finally into the staging beams and it's a good start for Lapone. Side by side they go down the racetrack and it is oh so close. Joe Lapone is declared the winner and Lapone defeats Bob Glidden to advance into the finals so it'll be two Chevrolets. Joe Lapone Jr. with his crew chief Bill Jenkins turning the wrenches against Bruce Allen at the wheel of the rare and Morrison Camaro out of Hendrick Motorsport. As we watch again, look at the wheels up start on this Chevy and the Ford. They both lift the front wheels high off of the asphalt. They head down track and at the finish line it is an extremely close race. At this point, Joe Lapone has got the advantage. But as we see in our stop action, they are crossing the finish line side by side. NHRA ruled that Joe Lapone Jr. won the race and he moves into the finals.